welcome back to my Bookstube channel. Today we are going to be doing a ranking of the Kane Chronicles book series. So, we're just going to get right into it. So, the book I want to put in third place is actually The Throne of Fire. Um, I actually really like this book, but the book for me, well, it just ruined Sadie's character. And character is very important to me in this book. Like, the characters are very important to me in any book or book series that I'm reading. And in The Throne of Fire, when Sadie decided to leave to London on her birthday, it just, like, kind of destroyed Sadie's character for me. And I was just, like, super mad about that. Like, you're just going to leave them because it's your 13th birthday. Like, celebrate it tomorrow if it's that important to you, okay? Next week. Celebrate it next week or something. But, like, that was just really selfish to me, so I didn't really like that part of the book. But except for that, the book was really nice, though. Um, like, they went on the whole adventure to find Ra. And in this book, we learn more about Bess's character, like, the little history behind Bess and Bast. And we actually meet Bess in this book, actually. Yeah, we actually meet Bess in this book. But... I really like this book. It's just that Sadie's character was a little annoying. And then, like, Anubis kissed Sadie, which was so... Oh, I hated that so much. But we also meet characters like Walt and Jasmine that were really fun and nice to read about. So, that's all. I'm gonna move on to my second book. And the book that's in second place is The Serpent's Shadow. Um, it's very surprising since it's, like, the ending of the book series and I usually love the endings and the finale so much like in this ending it just felt like it wasn't ended because you know this book comes right after um so it's supposed to be like a short story but it's actually part of the book series just like the demigod flies is part of the book series because we learn about an important character in that book which is bob or a okay no i'm not even gonna try to say it but we learn about the Titan and how he falls into a relief and stuff like that. <clears throat> so, yes, that is all. But again, like, Carter and Zia meet again and the whole Sadie Walt Anubis thing, I actually warmed up to it, like, at the very, very end. Because <laughs> I actually like Walt as a character and I really like Anubis as a character. It's just that Anubis and Sadie together is just, I hate it so much. But, when... Walt and Sadie got together. I really liked that. They were pretty cute. And Bess, um, the fact that he got his um, Ren back, it was just super, super cool, super happy because I love Bess as a character and Bast too. She's just an amazing character. I love Bast. And um, in this book, we learn more about like the world. Like the world is already built it up, but now they just like add little details. Like for example, for example, the shadow extraction. We learn. Excretion. I think that's what to say it, but oh well. And we also like learn more things, like for example, the five parts of a magician or something like that. Five parts of the mortal soul or something like that. It was like the Ren. <laughs> that's like the only one I can remember. It was like five parts of something. That was really cool though. I liked learning more about this magician's world. I think it's very, very interesting. Um, I love the whole thing about Egyptian mythology because I got into this book series knowing nothing about Egyptian mythology for Ra is the king of the gods and is the sun god. But I actually wasn't really confused because it just explains everything as we go and I really liked that about the books so now we're going to move on to the number one book and that is the red pyramid so i feel like the red pyramid just did an amazing job of setting a foundation for the book series like we just start to meet these characters learn more about their backstory like their father is like an important character in this book and he like when he um dies and becomes osiris and they're all getting like being hosts of god and we meet um, it's Kandar who dies, and Des Jardins is, like, the main antagonist of the book. And Set also. Set, um, I don't know why, but I guess his character is actually not that bad. Like, I didn't hate him. At the end of the series, I didn't hate him as much as I thought I would. But he's a pretty nice character. But he also did a lot of bad things, so I don't want to call him, like, a good character, though. But we're going to move on from that. Um, we meet a lot of the characters and just sets an amazing foundation for the whole book series and it it's just 
it's just an amazing book and the characters like her mom um zia is karen dodge that started that's jordan say set face of horror like yeah we meet him again in the serpent shadow which i was very not excited about but yeah and but let me be honest when i was first got into this book i thought they were gonna be like demigods too because it's like camp half-blood chronicles all the stories are about like demigods so when they actually turned to be magicians it was very interesting to me because that took a whole different route than i thought it was going to take but it actually turned out working out pretty well and i really like this book series and a lot of people should read it because Percy Jackson and Olympian books, of course, are amazing. They're masterpieces. The Canned Chronicles are pretty good, too. I love these characters. Even Sadie, even though she annoys me sometimes. So, that's it for this video. Um, I hope you guys liked this video and enjoyed it. And I hope you guys like, subscribe, and turn on the post notifications so you will never miss a video when I upload. And I will see you guys in my next video, which is actually going to be a book review for this book. And I'm not sure if I'm also going to add the Camp Kane Chronicle Confidential, something like that. But yeah, I'm really excited. And currently, I'm actually reading the uh, Percy Jackson Greek Heroes. I have nothing to do with this. Um, I had nothing to do with this video, but I just decided to throw it out there because I wanted to talk about this book. So yeah. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>